everyone, welcome back to Highlighter Hair, it's Crash. Um, today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me because Bennett and I have a thing to go to this evening at my university. It's kind of like our prom, I guess. It's called Monte Carlo. Um, so I'm going to get ready. Da, 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 da. The theme for tonight is Diamonds Are Forever, James Bond-ish. Um, which I'm not too stoked about, but it was by popular vote, so I can't really do anything about it. Also, you may notice that I have purple hair now, which was not my original intention, um, but I used a brand that I'm not used to, and it did a thing. So, that's that, and I don't have time to change it, so... We're purple now instead of pink. Oh well. In this get ready with me thing. I just want to let you know I am not a professional by any means. I do not know how to make up. All of my brushes and stuff are like the cheapest that I could find 10 years ago. So I keep them all like washed and clean but they're really really old. And the same with all the makeup. Um, more than half of it is probably just not good for me anymore. But it's what I keep using because I'm lazy and cheap and don't want to go to the store or buy anything. So yeah. Um, now we're going to take off the glasses and get down to business. So I don't have any primer or anything, but the first thing that we're going to start with is some concealer. It is MAC Concealer from forever ago, and it is in the shade NC20, and I think it's a little bit too white for me, but that's okay. And I'm just going to be using some, like, Face Secrets Detail Foundation brush. I don't know. Like I said, really cheap stuff. Um, so we're gonna do that. So let me get some concealer on my blush on my brush here. So I have a lot of redness going on right now recently. Um, because I have a really bad habit of picking at problem spots. And I know I shouldn't do that, but I, I do it anyways. Today I have done a mask already and I also plucked my eyebrows, which is amazing because that was the first thing that I've done, first time that I've actually done my eyebrows in months, which is terrifying. But I probably look a lot different than I did in the first video that I did on this channel, and that's okay. So I'm gonna just try and smooth everything out to the best of my abilities. Try and make everything, you know, the same-ish color. I'm also gonna make my lips a little bit whiter, just around the edges so that later I can draw them in and make them look pretty and nice. And some forehead action. My cheeks have really been breaking out recently. Um, even when I don't wear any makeup, which is most of the time. So I don't know what to do about that. That's kind of why I did all of the, um, did my mask today and everything was to try and get rid of some of that redness before I filmed this and before we went to this event tonight. I feel like that's pretty good. At least it's good enough for now. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is apply some of my L'Oreal Paris True Match powder, super blendable powder. Um, it is in N3 to me. So I'm going to use another Face Secrets brush. This is the powder brush. Looks like this. It's beautiful has a lot of glitter in it because I recently found out that one of my glitter pouches spilled all over my makeup bag so now all of my brushes just have a ton of glitter in them. I don't know if you can see that or not but everything has glitter. Just put some of this powder on to kind of smooth out all the edges. Get it on over the face. Okay now that that is done I'm gonna go through and do a little bit of contouring. Not a lot but a little bit just to make it look like I have something other than just a white face here. Um, so I'm going to be using the Borges, 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 I don't, I don't know. Um, their Milano Multi Bronzer Spectra. It looks like this. So so I am just going to apply this to um, my cheeks, just right under my cheekbones to make it look like I have cheeks. And I'm using a Bare Essentials um, Flawless Face Brush. That's what this is. Um, I, I know it's not for contouring. I just, it's what I have, so it's, it's what I do. 
So I'm gonna put that here, there we go, and do a little bit under my chin, just to give me some sort of bone structure, a little bit on my temples, and a little bit on my nose, because I have a very big nose. So I'm gonna make it look a teeny tiny bit smaller on the edges. So now that I think that's okay, I am gonna go through, and this is my Tokidoki really big brush. It's super cute, and it has a little, has a little unicorn on it. But, so this is my Tokidoki brush. I am just gonna use the same bronzer as blush. Cause that's how I do. Um, I'm gonna take off this jingly part right quick. Hold on. There we go, no more jingles. Sorry, little unicorn. You're adorable, everyone loves you. Just not right now. Um, and just do some cheek stuff. I feel like that makes me look like I have a cheek on this side. That's good. Try to make that look really natural and glowing. The next thing I'm gonna do is just go through and put a little bit of highlight in. Um, this is Benefit's WhatsApp. I got it at a Sephora as like a birthday sample thing, probably four years ago, maybe. And it's just their highlighter that thing. So you open it up and be like this and it's that's what it does. It goes wow. So I'm gonna just apply this to some spots that need to get a little bit more highlighted to my to my this bit here, whatever this is called. And I'm just gonna smooth that in with my fingers. So I feel like that'll just bring a little bit more light to my face, which is good. The next thing that I'm going to do is my eyebrows. Um, like I said, I plucked them today, which was nice because it's the first time I've done that in a while. And. So now I'm just gonna go through and draw them in. We're gonna be using the Salon Perfect Eyebrow Pencil in Taupe. It looks like this. Um, just to sketch everything out a little bit and then I'll go through with an actual brush. Okay, now that those are outlined and I know where they're supposed to be and everything, um, I'm gonna go through with some Clinique eyeshadow. It's like ridiculously old and it comes like this, this little palette. Um, and they are in the, what is this called? Flavors? Shades. Um, pro skills. They're in the shades Coffee Shop, which is this one. Beach Plum, which is this one, and Pink Slate, which is this one. So I'm going to go through with just the little brush that it came with and use the Coffee Shop Definer, which is supposed to be for your eyes, and I'm just going to put that onto my eyebrows. It's the closest thing I have ever found that actually matches my eyebrow color. Um, so I'm going to just, I'm going to do that, and I'll show you what it looks like in just a moment. That is done. See, they look so much better now. I have eyebrows. It's brilliant. Um, okay, so now that that is all finished up, I'm really happy how it's looking so far. I am going to go and do some eyeshadow. Um, even though it's a big concept theme, I guess, of Diamonds Are Forever, I'm actually going to play it pretty calm with my makeup because the clothes that I'm wearing and how I'm gonna do my hair and like my nails and all that is so vibrant and out there and all that. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to start with, I think this is a Mirabella brush. I don't know, it's like a, it, it's a plain eyeshadow brush. Um, I've used it a lot so it's pretty faded. Um, and I'm gonna go back to that same Clinique palette and use this like, this, this base color down here. Um, what, what did I say that was called? Pink Slate. I'm going to use that as my base color. I use this with almost every single time I do my makeup just because it adds a really um, nice starting place. It makes my it makes my eye the whole the same color everywhere and it works out and um, and I can put a lot of other things on top of it and it never really has a problem with holding those colors. So I'm going to do that. Oh, I just saw glitter come off of this brush. The base. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do 
is grab another Mirabella brush. I think that's what it is. Um, and this brush is, you know, same same quality as everything else I've been doing today. This is what I use to do my crease. Um, today, I think I am going to do just a really, really faint pinkish crease color. Um, so I'm pulling up this Max Makeup Cherimoya Artistry 24 Eye Art Palette. I don't know. But the things in here don't even have names. It's just, it's, eh, it is what it is. So I'm going to be using this really, really faint pink color right here, I think, to do my crease. And I might combine that with a purpley pink. I'm not entirely sure yet. We'll see how this goes. We're just going to put this right on my crease. Just, just right here. All right, now that I really like how that's looking, um, I am going to turn off the camera and import what I have so far and then continue in just a moment. So hold on. Back to the thing. Back to the thing. Okay, so now that I have all of my eyeshadow done and I like it, um, I don't know what this was. <laughs> I am going to put on a little bit of eyeliner. And I'm going to be using Sephora's Crayon Eyes, um, which is something I don't usually use, and so this is new product to me, even though I've had it forever. Um, I think it was part of the same grouping of free birthday things. Um, don't know where my mirror went. There we go. Got it. Okay, so I'm going to just put some of this on here now. Gonna get creative. There we go. Okay. Okay. Now that's done. We're gonna do the under, under part. Um, I never go very far with my eyeliner just because I don't think it looks good when I do the whole under part. That was really what I did when I was a teenager. Okay, I think we're about done on that front. Um, I am just going to go through, and I have another little brush here, which is a MAC brush. Um, it's like a an angled tip brush here. Um, so I'm just going to go through and put a little bit of black from this janky palette again. Um, and I'm just going to put that along the same lines as my eyeliner to try and like fade it a little bit more. Um, because right now it looks a bit harsh, and I don't want it to be super harsh. Just just a little bit harsh. Harsh, harsh, harsh. Alrighty. Okay, how's that look up close? I can't tell. It looks pretty the same on both sides, which is great. The next thing we're going to be using is my eyelash curler. It's it's a Revlon one, in case you're curious. Um, so I'm going just I'm gonna do this. Make my eyelashes super curly, make them so pretty. Right. I'm just gonna put it on here. So I know you're supposed to curl your eyelashes after you put mascara on, um, but I don't like doing that because then it makes my eyelashes stick to the curler, which makes it more difficult and painful and stuff, and I don't like doing that. I always, and I have been doing this since I started putting makeup on, so nine nine years ish so I've, I've always curled my eyelashes first does anybody else do that is that a thing i will say though the upside about having this purple hair is that my eyes look super duper green and the last thing i'm going to be doing is putting on some benefit they're real um eyelash mascara mascara um it's another one of the samples that I got from a Sephora. Sephora. One another one of the samples that I got from a Sephora birthday thing. Um, so I'm gonna put that on really quick, and then we will just about be done. I'll just have to do lips after that. Alrighty. I think that is done. Let me just look one more time. Looks good to me. First, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat the pez. Just. So lemony. So good. Nom. Nom nom. One more. 
Yeah. Okay, the last thing I'm going to be doing to complete my face part um, is lips. So if you have seen my most recent, well, my first video, um, my lip monthly unboxing, I'm going to be using two of the products from that for this. So first I'm going to be using my Prim Botanicals Lip and Cheek Glow, and I am just going to be using something moved back there. I'm going to be using the bottom one, this um, it is also the one that I tried in the video. I like it a lot more than the top one. Not to say the top one isn't good, but it's a, it's a softer color, and tonight I am going for soft makeup. Can't you tell with, with my crazy eyes? Alright, uh, so I'm just going to put this on, and then I'm just really quickly going to throw a little bit of this NYC Expert Last, um, lipstick on on top of it. It is in snow cone, and I'm just gonna throw that on. And this way, throughout the night, when I do want to update my lips um, after I eat or drink something, I can just use this again, and it's really easy and small and will fit into my purse, which is over there somewhere. But it's it's a small purse, so <laughs> I'm just gonna put this in there. So I'm gonna put that there to remind me about it. Okay, so I think at this point, there we go, it's upside down. I think at this point my makeup is done, which is great. Um, so now we're going to do hair. I have had my hair up in braids all day. I don't know if this is going to work because they're quite loose braids, um, but I'm going to take these down and see what kind of curl we have. Um, I would have used a curling iron, but my hair is just, it doesn't like to work. Um, so curling irons don't work on my hair at all. If I want to get any curl into it at all, I have to put it up in a braid, um, either all day or all night, and then even then you only really get this, which probably looks just ridiculous. I can't tell. Yeah. So you get a really loose wave, which is better than nothing. Still not great. Um, I, where's my comb? Comb, comb, comb. One second. Found a comb. I am just going to use my comb and just to add a little bit of body. I'm going to separate my hair out, so make one layer and then separate this. And I am just going to stop it. I'm going to back comb it a little bit um, just to add a little bit of body because, once again, my hair is difficult and it refuses to body, refuses to anything that's straight, which is now a verb. And do that all around my head. Okay, that should look a little bit more rugged. Does it look good? Does it look nice? And then to tie together the whole look with it being diamonds are forever, I'm going to put on these really, really sparkly diamondy earrings. Um, and I already put on my super sparkly industrial, so that's good. And I think this is my completed makeup look. Um, debating a couple of accessories still, so I will put up a couple of pictures from the night now so you know what I look like when it was all done. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. I really enjoyed doing this, and I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up uh, or a comment or whatever, and let me know that you like it. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go glasses tonight. Does it look good with glasses? I would have applied the fake eyelashes, but I, I do want to wear my glasses tonight. I have a really weird thing that I don't like to be seen in public without my glasses on. I think my like under eyes are just not... Not oh, pretty. So I'm going to wear glasses tonight. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed it. And I will see you soon. Thanks so much. Hope you have a great day. Bye.